Hi, I'm Jeff Russell, Area Superintendent for the Braswell Zone, and it's a pleasure for me to introduce this year's Zone Teachers of the Year. Heather Miles Botwell, Bell Elementary. Heather Miles Botwell is completing her fifth year in Denton ISD and her first year as a third grade teacher at Bell Elementary. Miss Miles Botwell's educational philosophy rests on three pillars, a belief that all students can achieve great things, a love of learning, and a passion for creating an empowering reading and writing learning experience. In order to stay true to her pillars, Ms. Botwell prioritizes building strong, individualized relationships with each of her students. And perhaps most importantly, Ms. Miles Botwell strives to instill a love for reading so her students can become wise adults who help make the world a better place. Rob Strong, Cross Oaks Elementary. Rob Strong is in his second year as a fourth and fifth grade math and reading interventionist at Cross Oaks Elementary. Mr. Strong began his career in Denton ISD as a substitute teacher in 2016. He strives each day to be an example that his students can follow, showing them the right way to respectfully treat others through their actions. A product of Denton ISD himself, Mr. Strong takes pride in being a role model for his students to look up to. Shane Peavy House, Paloma Creek Elementary. Shane Peavy House is finishing his seventh year in Denton ISD and his sixth year as an art teacher at Paloma Creek Elementary. Mr. Peavy House's heart and dedication to his students drive him to be the best teacher possible. As an art teacher, Mr. Peavy House has an opportunity to impact each of the roughly 700 students who walk through the halls at Paloma Creek through artistic expression. Desiree McClung, Providence Elementary. Desiree McClung is completing her fourth year as a third grade teacher at Providence Elementary. Ms. McClung's desire to be a teacher goes back to her own experience as a first grader, where she had a teacher who left a lasting impression on her. She knew then that she wanted to make an impact the same way her teacher did for her. Ms. McClung believes in loving each of her students as they come to her. This means embracing each of their vast array of backgrounds. Ms. McClung's daily goal is not just to instill a nurturing learning environment, but to make her students feel safe and like a family. Bailey Dieters, Sandbrock Ranch Elementary. Bailey Dieters is in her fourth year working in Denton ISD and completing her first year as a third grade self-contained teacher at Sandbrock Ranch Elementary. When Ms. Dieters thinks of her own most memorable teacher, she fondly recalls her own second grade teacher. Ms. Dieters second grade teacher showed her being a teacher isn't just about giving lessons, but about loving kids and changing their lives. Now a teacher herself, that is the mantra by which Ms. Dieters teaches. She wants her students to not only learn, but to remember her as someone who helped shape their lives in more ways than one. Kimberly Soto, Savannah Elementary. Kimberly Soto is finishing her fifth year in Denton ISD and her first year as a third grade teacher at Savannah Elementary. Ms. Soto's teaching philosophy is simple. Students come first. Every decision Ms. Soto makes is done with her students in mind. Ms. Soto believes learning should be interactive and engaging. And as such, she tries to create an environment where students feel comfortable enough to be inquisitive. Kate Shisko, Union Park Elementary. Before coming to Texas in 2017, Kate Shisko spent 13 years as a pre-K and kindergarten teacher in Warsaw, Poland. Ms. Shisko is completing her fourth year in Denton ISD and her third year as a dyslexic therapist at Union Park Elementary. As Shisko puts it, teaching is one of the most rewarding careers because she can literally change the course of a child's life. As a dyslexic therapist, Ms. Shishko sees her students grow every day and persevere to the point where they learn all the skills needed to be able to read. And for her, knowing she helped play a small part in a child's success is what makes all the time and work worthwhile. Tina Simpson, Navo Middle School. Tina Simpson is completing her 14th year in Denton ISD and her 10th year as an eighth grade English language arts teacher at Navo Middle School. Ms. Simpson moved to the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex with her son in 2005 after, in her words, a natural disaster in New Orleans changed her life's trajectory. After relocating, Ms. Simpson also changed careers 
shifting from being a social worker to an educator. She started working in Denton ISD in 2008 as a substitute teacher before teaching at NAVO in 2012. Ms. Simpson believes in motivating her students to build their self-esteem while encouraging them to discover new opportunities to learn. Ms. Simpson's classroom is modeled after the quote, every child deserves a champion, an adult who will never give up on them, who understands the power of connections and insists they become the best they can be. Bailey Sanford, Rodriguez Middle School. Bailey Sanford is completing her third year as a functional life skill teacher at Rodriguez Middle School. Teaching all core subjects six through eight, as a functional life skills teacher, Ms. Sanford's job looks different than most. Her lesson plans are carefully planned to reach an array of needs in her classroom. Ms. Sanford takes pride in building a sense of community with the families she works with. She believes every child can learn and every child deserves to be in a caring and patient classroom, something she constantly strives to provide. Barbara Lightfoot, Sparks Campus. Barbara Lightfoot is in her fifth year as a middle school and high school science teacher at Denton ISD's Sparks Campus. The Sparks Campus is for students who have encountered legal and disciplinary issues to continue their education. Ms. Lightfoot has seen students in her classes become more responsible, confident, and active learners due to their interactions with herself and her colleagues. She strives to demonstrate the strength to persevere through difficult times by listening to her students and being an example for them. Keith Stovall, Braswell High School. Keith Stovall is finishing his fifth year as a pre-calculus teacher at Braswell High School. Mr. Stovall has taught 33 years, and for him, seeing his students gain confidence and believe in themselves is what he describes as his personal Super Bowl. He takes pride in being more than just a teacher. He considers himself a student, a brother, a son, a mentor, and counselor, and more. Mr. Stovall cherishes every moment with his students and is intentional about getting to know each of them individually. Mr. Stovall's individuality drives his purpose of hopefully being able to make a difference in each of his students' educational journeys. Congratulations, Teachers of the Year. Thank you for providing a loving and caring environment for our students. You are definitely built different.